Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show my second sneak peek of products that are going to be available in the spring summer catalogue which goes live on the 3rd of January which is just seven days away now. Um, also on 3rd of January we'll see the start of Celebration which is probably the best offer that Stamping Up make all year round. Um, it starts on the 3rd of January which is the same day that the spring summer catalogue will go live but it means that for every £45 you spend you will be able to choose a gift from the Celebration catalogue. It's um, the offer is for every £45 you spend, which means if your order is £90, you can choose two free gifts. If your order is £135, you can choose three free gifts and so on. Um, there are another two parts of celebration and one of them is if you host a workshop or you put in an order yourself that is £200 or more, you will earn the normal um, stamping up rewards that you would get but on top of that you will get an extra £20 worth of products so your if your order is £200 you would normally earn £20 in stamping rewards but now you will get £40 so that's really well worth having it and lastly the third uh, part of the uh, offers on available during celebration is that um, new people who join as demonstrators, regardless of whether they join as hobbyists, which means um, people who just buy products to get the discount, I mean, sorry, they join just to get the discount on the products that they're buying, um, or as business builders like myself who want to run their own business from home, everybody will get a chance of choosing an extra two stamp sets which means for your £99 it costs to join you will choose £130 worth of products from the catalogues and another two stamp sets which could add up on an extra £90 worth of value which means you could finish up with £220 worth of products for your £99 um, I'm always looking for people to join my team of superstars and if you would like to join us I'd be really really happy to welcome you on board. Um, just email me at jambi at jambicards.com and I'll be delighted to talk to you more about it. Right, so I'm going to start showing you the things that I have here. If you haven't seen my first sneak peek, which I a video I made after I came back from um, stamping up on stage back in November. That video is number 331. Um, this one is going to be number 342 um, but do go back and look at the other one if you haven't seen that. Right okay so the first one I'm going to show you is this suite is known as Myths and Magic Suite and first of all I'm going to show you the designer series paper. This is absolutely stunning. It's got like silver, um, uh, how can you describe it, it's glitter and silvery, um, you can see that, the colours are absolutely brilliant on this particular design, I love this, unicorns, this is the reverse side of that sheet and this has got little crosses on it and then this one has the glittery um, shiny bit on it as well see that and then the reverse of that side is this which I think is absolutely delightful I like that and then we have the wizards you see the shiny glittery bits there and then on the reverse of that is this one which is different trees that's going to be great for um, masculine cards and then we have one with dragons on it and the little guy in his armour you can see the shiny bits there and this has a set of dies that goes with it as well I'll show you those in a moment this is the reverse of that one there 
which is like little fleur-de-lis and then we've got some stars let's see if I can tilt that to get the shine I think they're shining isn't it? I don't know it's difficult to tell but it is shiny and this is the reverse of it will be upside down they're clouds and this is quite a thick um, designer series paper as well and then we have the delightful little mermaids um, I think that one will can be cut out with the die that looks it I think um, I'd like to give that one a try and then we have this as the reverse design that's a gorgeous lemon lime twist so the stamp set, I'm not going to put that away because I'm going to test these um, the dies on them. Um, so this is a stamp set and it's called Magical Day. So we have the little characters here. That stamp there is for the fire coming away from the dragon. And then we have different stars here. These ones, there's a die for it as well. There's a die for that. Die for that gorgeous little thing the um, seahorse and then the dies are these here and it's these I think are going to fit onto here so let me just try these that one I think is no it's too big that's a shame but that is the same shape as this one in fact let me show you the shapes This is what they, the die cuts are. Okay, so the dragon breathing out the fire. I had to make the fire go up because I ran out of space. Um, it's got some uh, little branches there. That's a little seahorse. Isn't that cute? And it's got a couple of uh, dies there which will cut waves as well. And that, I assume, if I'd done it up the right way, will fit on to those. Um, that's the right size, isn't it? So... There we go. Not that one though. It will do the magical. Well, that's good. Because you could uh, do that one and stamp it, do that one, cut it, and then layer it on top of the whole thing. Now, let me just see if these others will fit on. I mean, that's a soldier. No, that's. No, because it's reversed, isn't it? That's the size we want, side we want it to go. Unless there's another one. No, there isn't. So what about the wizard? No, he's too big now. Well, that's all right, because the stamps are over there, which will fit. But as I was going through these, I just thought, oh, I wonder if those will fit. And this is the unicorn, it's going to be too big. Yeah. Oh well, not to worry. As I say, we do still have the stamps there. And they'll be great to use our um, blender pet, uh, stamping blends with our alcohol based markers. Now, the other thing that part of this suite is we have some uh, glimmer paper and we have it in three colours. And at first, I couldn't understand why. Stamping up, we're saying that that's light green and that's turquoise, um, rather than saying it's, um, say, tempting turquoise and lemon lime twist. And I think the reason they've done it is because you can use various colours with it. So, for example, oh, I didn't get, the, oh, yes, I did. I mean, if we do the yellow one first of all, now that's the obvious choice, which is lemon lime twist but I think but you could always get away with old olive as well and I thought I'd bought over a piece of pear pizzazz but maybe not in fact maybe that's pear pizzazz um, but I think the colours the glimmer paper is going to be versatile very versatile because it's going to go with various colours now if we take the blue okay so that's tempting turquoise 
and maybe that I don't know I I think that does go and that's the mood of A and then that's pool party and that's soft sky so I think Stamping Up have left our options open for us and this one is the same as the one we had previously okay now this one they're calling iridescent and this is our dazzling diamonds glimmer paper I thought I'd bring over a sheet so you can see they're very similar but this one's got like a more pink background to it okay so that's all of that set let me move that out of the way I've got a little tray behind me so I can put all my bits and pieces on. Now the next ones I'm going to show you are the stamp sets that I have with the dies. This stamp set I showed you on my first sneak peek but I wasn't able to get the dies at that time but I do have them now. Okay, So you have some grass there, you've got that one for the basket that is a stamp but we've also got that which is not a die but it creates an impression so you can die cut it and put that through on it and it will look like a basket um, you've got that one for these now these I'm not sure whether they're meant to be butterflies or flowers I think they're flowers that you could put at the end of these because there's a butterfly there um, is there a butterfly? I thought there was a butterfly die. Did I think that was? Yes, that's the butterfly die. I've had a lot of fun trying to decide what these things are. These are the handles for the basket and you can put both down like that or you can put them up like that and meet that way. That's a loaf of bread, the bottle, the drink. That's the cheese that one there, uh, another glass, uh, there should be an apple here, oh that's the apple with the apple core um, and what was that one, can't remember, maybe that was the, <laughs> as you can see I have had fun trying to work out what's what but there you go it's a good set let me t turn it over and show you the die cuts on the back okay oh yes definitely the apple you get the little hearts there too one little tuft of grass can you see there the impression let me take that out again I'm sure it'll be easier yes okay so that's how that one makes that look like a basket if you don't want to do any stamping on it okay so that's a great one I right, can take that off now the video is going to be finished doesn't matter about that right I mean uh, the sneak peeks have been finished this one is beautiful this the stamp set is called hold on to hope Okay, so you've got a cross there which comes up mottled and that I think would be great for a sympathy card. And these are the dies. Okay, so that's for that one. You've got a really nice fancy one and you can die cut that and that will fit on top of that one if you want to do that one colour and that another colour. That's a beautiful one like that. And when you die cut that you actually get those two that's for the flower on the die that's the plain cross that's the fancy one that's the butterfly and that is for that okay so they're the um, the bundle if you buy them as a bundle you do save 10% on the price of each of them now this is the barn door and this is going to be a great um, card for making um, 
the word has gone out of my mind but a moving card um, so these are the dies we have so we're going to be able to die cut that they're going to be the runners and then we're going to be able to die cut the door which will be that one and we can have it sliding along um, and we have two wreaths these two it took me ages to work out what that was for but that will die cut that bit there so that you can raise it you can stamp it in one color do that one in a different color and pop it on top because you've got the ring and the uh, bow on it you've also oh, I've stuck that one upside down um, you've got that one which is for the hello and that I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be but it could be um, like a door handle and then sideways as hinges on there um, whatever you really would like it to be so that's the thin lips uh, the, no, the framelits are called sliding door and the stamp set is barn door again that's available as a bundle this is another lovely set I like this one this is called charming cafe and you will find that with the dies this big one here the outside one will die cut this this one here will cut the center out and these two will die cut these two so you can have it layered any which way you would like it to be. This one here will die cut the frame around here. You could have the frame on its own. You could die cut that and have that on its own. Or you can die cut the actual bit there. And you've got three trees as well. Three of these which makes life easy. So let's take this one out to show you okay so that's what the die cut that one there that's what you finish up with there you could die cut it and then pop it on there if you wanted the trees you could line up in a row and also with the stamp set with that bit there let me open that one up with that one there that separate stamp you can use that just as a background stamp um, if you inked it up with say something like um, Sahara sand and then stamped it off if you'd stamped that uh, in fact no not that one that one if you stamped that you could use that and stamp it over it and it'd be like a background or you can stamp it and then put your sentiment on top of it so it's like a background for you okay plenty of options so that's that set now I'm going to move on to stamp sets that are stamp sets without um, dies to go with them this one is going to be fabulous for little doing little tags and things because we have also got in the spring summer catalogue um, two scalloped circle punches one that's one and one eighth inches and the other is one and three eighths inches which will punch these out and these ones you can stamp in the center here so that's going to be absolutely fabulous really looking forward to using that one well, let's put those on a separate pile and this one bird banter and um, this is going to be a lot of fun as well um, these I've seen um, most of these have been used by um, other demonstrators um, and they've shared their work on um, various Facebook groups um, but these are a lot of fun um, looking at what the people have done uh, the party hat there can be put on top of the very well not that one um, unless you die, cut, fussy cut that and then put it on top that would be right. Um, but the sayings on here we've got you're the kind of friend I'd share my branch with still suspiciously young looking I see excuse me <clears throat> not the kind of sentiment that I would use um, but maybe I'm a bit too sensitive um, a little bird it told me it was your birthday obviously it wasn't an early bird just a little toucan of my appreciation as in just a little token and then happy birthday and thank you so very very versatile set that one 
oh this is so cute this is called hedge hugs these are just so super and that which I imagine is meant to be a squirrel and mushrooms toadstools whatever that would look nice done in red that would yeah I see that being in fact I would probably paint that paint that in red and then the grass in green and then stamp it looking forward to doing that one that I would also do uh, I'd paint that as well so it's got the flowers one color and then green down there and this one says sending hedge hugs your way so that's really nice that you can have these sitting on there that one yep that's good like that one that's called hedge hugs now this one is um, a new technique um, that Stamping Up have um, as far as I understand they have developed this and it is where the stamp has been digit <laughs> digitally cut as in digital cutting um, and it gives all these different depths of colour really really beautiful so what I would do on that one is I would stamp that and then I would either use my um, aqua brush or possibly the um, stamping blends and then just colour the leaves in green a different colour green there and then the flowers in different colours the centre in yellow absolutely beautiful again nice thank you there and easy sympathy card too thinking of you or sending heartfelt thoughts so that's another good one and this one if you're getting the stamparatus which you absolutely must um, this is fantastic to go with it I've seen this demonstrated um, with our stamparatus we're having two plates with it one there one there and you can lift them out and put them around the other way so you can use four sides that one comes down this way that one comes down this way and you can have a stamp on inside and the outside and the beauty is the plates you can actually lift out turn them around and another beauty is you can lift it out move it down put it back in again and stamp the same design further along so what we were shown is that tree was stamped once on the paper and then I can't remember quite which way round it went but what you can do is you can lift that up move it along two notches ink it up stamp it down so you've got two trees and then you can turn that take it out again turn it around and in between you can put the hammock and I think on that one the plate was put in one because the tree had been moved along two so that was moved along one from the beginning stamp it down and the hammock is hanging from tree to tree absolutely beautiful and then we were also shown with this you could put that on one of the plates and then stamp it down in fact you'd have to go that way wouldn't you stamp it down and then move it one stamp it down again move it one stamp it down you could do it with the lights as well and then clean stamp move back to the beginning again put it in a different direction and then stamp it down lift it up down so what happens is you finish up with that you get one like that and then you get one that is in your new position and then the next one is the same as the first one and then the second one is in the second position does that make sense um, let me see if I can just quickly show you so if you've got the first one and it's going straight like that and then it move you move it down in the notches and then stamp again move it down and do it in the notches and then clean stamp put it back on again but at an angle so next time when it stamps it stamps at an angle like that and then stamp it again so don't you think that's brilliant I mean this is what we've seen done and it is fabulous and while I'm talking about that the Stamparatus is available for pre-order but only until um, 31st of December 
I will put on my um, blog exactly what time during the day until the 31st of December and if you don't place a pre-order um, you won't be able to order it until the 1st of June okay um, which might be a little bit frustrating for you if you do a pre-order you don't have to pay for it now um, Stamping Up will email you when it's ready to be shipped which will be in March sometime and that is when you can either confirm or um, cancel your order and if you confirm that is when you would be paying for it okay so you either have the choice pre-order now and get it in March or leave it and order it in June and receive it more or less straight away okay so um, check out my blog because I will be posting um, more about that um, as a reminder so that you don't miss the opportunity um, otherwise you will need to wait until 1st of June okay um, right so there's that one and then we have lovely wishes this is a two-step stamping set so you've got this one that will stamp onto that one you've got those leaves that will colour in that one that which will colour in those leaves these will fill in the flowers and then you've got that that will colour in the leaf there and that one will colour in that flower you've got more flowers up here so that will colour in that one and that one with that one and I don't know these are designed to go with that I don't know that might color in that one as well I haven't played with any of these yet um, as it was the run up to Christmas I wanted to enjoy the run up to Christmas and most people are very busy anyway um, so I kept mine um, aside um, right now this one is another lovely one looking forward to colouring these bits um, but it's two step stamping so you've got that that and that which will do the wooden bits here um, I haven't worked out that looks as if it will colour that that will colour that but obviously you can do it by freehand if you like that is going to be colouring that as I say I haven't really had a really good look at this but that is going to colour those bits in there and that is going to colour that one so definitely a good two-step stamp set and one of the things I really love about this one is I love that thank you I make a lot of thank you stamps and I love that font on that and looking at this that I think is going to do that that and that and that's going to be in the middle of that flower Oh, so clever. Can't wait to get going now. Um, right, this one is called Southern Serenade. Sorry, did I tell you that one's called Love You Still? Uh, Southern Serenade. And that's going to be a great one for colouring, if you like colouring, which is something I do. Um, but also what I can see with this is I can see that being stamped in a very, very light colour, like uh, Sahara sand or maybe um, something like soft sky but stamped off once and then that's stamped over the top of it or possibly even these being stamped over it and there's a nice edging stamp there as well so another lovely stamp set there I haven't bought everything I have to say um, although it probably looks like it um, this is a great set that I'm looking forward to starting with as well um, it looks like water colouring uh, you know when you stamp it it's going to have all the shading on there ready for you it's called waterfront and it's going to do like little scenes like the tree uh, trunk there with the palms to go on top of it um, definitely looking forward to having a go at this one it's not something where lots of things jump out at me but it's one of those that I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of um, thinking about and playing with and I think the results are going to be great and then there's this one which actually felt a bit heavy I don't know why um, called We Must Celebrate and somebody did suggest 
and again I haven't checked this out but that stamp there it looks as if they are all far enough apart from each other that you may be able to cut them so you've got individual stamps I'm not sure that I would not want to try that some of those are really close no I don't think I don't think I would try that um, I think you'd need a very very steady hand to do that um, no but no lovely stamp set I'm looking forward to using it um, I can see me using the individual animals um, but I'm not sure that I would do the cutting of it and I'm not afraid to cut my stamps but I'm not sure I'd like to do that but there we go that's we must celebrate now I have also here um, a embossing folder no an embossing folder and it is just stripes amazingly effective effective okay that's all it is it's a standard six by six um, it's not one of our uh, what we call dynamic embossing folders so I think that's going to be useful for all manner of things then we have another new product that's in the um, spring-summer catalogue and these are a new size of note cards okay I assume we're coming in packets of 20 so that's the new size I already had one folded and the new envelopes and so that you know how that compares with our existing sets that is the regular note card that's our new one okay so quite a bit smaller and that's the standard thank you card um, not <laughs> note card it's because I always use them for thank you cards and that is how that fits in comparison so I think that's going to be a really really great addition to um, the, our product range because there are times when um, a small card like that is ideal but also with this I can see it being used as like a gift tag um, there are times when I like to have a decent sized gift tag because I want to write something to somebody if it's more than just a birthday card um, so I think that's going to be very useful Let's pop that one away so that's those and then finally I have uh, five more celebration items first of all we have here the sweet soiree memories and more card pack okay so you've got these sizes and these could be used as um, card fronts I mean that for example if you use that as a card front you could quite easily um, stamp into there in fact let me do I should have prepared this before so I could show you both sides so that you could use as a card front not that one but that would be nice and that one great cards they really are and the memories and more is a really super um, system I love this the um, the drawings of the flowers on this set I think mine are just all muddled up aren't they I think we're seeing the same thing again mind you some of them are the same but in different colors Oh, that's nice, I like that. That's useful for a card as well. Now these are available as one of the free gifts in celebration. So if you spend £45, or if you're in Euros, it's €60. Euros. These are great for card fronts, look at them. That one you could colour. That's pretty. You see that?
collect moments, not things. That's nice. That's good. I like that. I like so many of these. I'm going to have to think of a better way of storing these because I have two or three of the previous packs and I put them into the wooden, um, you know, the DVD cases like this, but the wooden ones that are twice the size. And unfortunately, I've put them with the um, my stamp sets and I forget about them. So I'm going to have to think of a new way of keeping them so they're more not necessarily right in my face but so that I don't forget about them. So that's those and then we have the bigger sizes and the bigger size is what? That's six inches by four so if you wanted these as a card front you need to cut them down. These cards are four by three. Okay so again double sided That's nice. Picture Perfect is the name of um, one of our suites as well in the Spring Summer catalogue. So loads of things that you could do with it. Oh, that's Sweet Soiree, that's the uh, card that's actually in the packet with it. Okay, so that's that. There's also a pack where you get three rolls of uh, ribbon in it. Now this one is Bermuda Bay and this is our Glimmer ribbon like we have, um, I can't remember the three colours we have in our, I know we've got basic, uh, basic grey I think, um, but this one's Bermuda Bay and that's one eighth of an inch wide and then we have basic grey and that is a quarter of an inch wide. All three are shimmery and this one is Calypso Coral and that's three eighths of an inch wide. Okay so you get three rolls of ribbon and they're 4.6 meters long all of them. So that's a free gift. This is another free gift. Um, amazing You. Um, I love that. That's going to be great to um, stamp, um, not stamp, to colour with um, our stamping blends so that's really lovely in fact this goes matches another gift which is this one um, which are three dies now this year what Stamping Up have done they have introduced two products that are available for every £90 you spend and this is one of them I showed you the other one in the first sneak peek I did. Um, so if your order was £90, you could choose two £45 items or one £90. If your order was 135 you could choose three £45 products or one £90 and one £45. So you can mix and match whichever way um, you want to do it but it is for every £45 you spend every £90 um, it doesn't it's not once you have spent 45 it's for every 45 which is a great deal absolutely super so that's nice because that's more or less the same as that and the amazing and the you so you can either stamp it or you can die cut it and you can mix these around. Um, you are simply amazing. You put to me. You are simply amazing to me. Let's celebrate. Lovely. And I love this. So, yeah, and these are the dies. Didn't put it on the back because I thought for words it's just a lot easier on the front. And one more. And I think this is the last thing I have to show you. Yep. And this is another... Um, stamp set which is going to be fantastic for um, masculine cards um, I would like to say younger masculine 
a young younger men, but I don't know. I don't see why um, older men don't like music and shouldn't wear trainers or play guitars. Yeah, just masculine. Great masculine card. There you go. Um, so here's to an epic celebration, and you're awesome. So that's another one you can choose. Forty-five pounds. So there we go. Many thanks for joining me. Um, as far as I'm concerned, next video, which will be, um, where are we? T tomorrow's going to be the Wednesday. So as from Sunday, um, I hope to get back to um, normal stamping, card making, boxes, 3D, etc. Um, and I will be playing with new th new goodies. So really looking forward to that. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.